Hey guys, all right, so this video is, um, if you watched one of my previous videos, I wanted to find out, um, I switched up my whole stance this year, board, bindings, everything, and my skill level dropped. Uh, I wasn't able to do uh, nose rolls and butters and all that as much, so I wanted to go back to the Arbor Draft, right, for, um, take it out and see what the difference was between the Gilson Duel, right? So uh, I did that and I'll tell you what, the three-dimensional base, um, once you start riding it, it's a little bit harder to go back to this style board because it does have more give, more freedom, less edge catching because the edge is literally down below um, and the Arbor Draft, so that's a flat camber and this is a rocker camber, right? So with the rocker, if you step on it, see if I can do this. We'll get this, we'll get it. Okay, so if you step on one end of this, the other end rises up. I don't know if you can see that there. So with a rocker camber, that's gonna happen. It's gonna give you more, more tip and tail in the air, whereas a flat camber, flip them over, is flat. It does a little bit, but uh, it could be the fact that I'm on the other board. But yeah, it's it's a little bit more stable. Um, that being said, the dual I am still happy with. Uh, it is wider by a little bit. So one's yeah, it's a finger width wider. So one's a 154 and one's a 151. I could never find any videos about what the, how much size difference you were talking about when it came to a 151 versus a 154. I get that it's three, right? But how much does it actually look and see? And so you can see the red. That's, that's the dual, the arbor is there, okay? So that's the difference between a 151. Now, as far as width-wise, for you wideboard guys, because I am wide, right? I can still ride this Arbor Draft, and it's, I think, a 250 or 245, and the width-wise is that. You can see that there. It's hard to see, I'm sorry. So, too much light. Um, yeah, it's only like one finger width difference in width-wise, and this has the grip tech. We're gonna do a video about the grip tech. Um, so that being said, I don't have any problems boot catching or any of that. I should do an onboard video of the uh, Gilson Duel and uh, so that you can see that because it's 260, I think. Yeah, and this is only 250 or 240. But still, um, a lot of people will say, you know, should you get a wide board and whatnot. It all depends on what kind of terrain you're on. And uh, sorry, let me set these down and what kind of train you're on and everything like that. A lot of people ask also, um, so this is the Signal Park too. I have this one. Um, <laughs> I have my toys. Uh, don't, don't frown on me. But as far as those two go, I am very happy with the Duel and I'm going to keep riding that this year. I may get rid of the, either may give my Duel or my Arbor Draft to my son if he gets, as he grows older or um, get rid of it. Um, the Signal Park I still like too. Signal Park is, all these boards are not traditional, right? So everyone usually goes, gets the Burton Deep Thinker, and um, I had a Burton, I still have a Burton Baron. Where's that Burton Baron? Ah, it's over there, I won't get it. But I have a Burton Baron, I had a Burton Name Dropper. I didn't like the flux in the Name Dropper because I saw a guy with an Arbor Draft come up and just butter it, and I'm like, Dude, what kind of board do you have, right? That you can butter it that easy. And he's like, it's an Arbor Draft. I love this board. I don't even think they make them anymore. And I went and looked and I found it and uh, bought it and I was pretty happy with that. Then I tried the Duel and I'm happy with that. So I'm really happy with all my boards. Um, it's just playing with them and testing them and finding out. Um, it was interesting that last year I was at a 22 inch stance on the Arbor Draft and now I've gone almost to 23, 24, feeling more stable wider this year. Binding, and then 
Here's another one that changed up, right? I was at like nine or 12 negative on my back foot. And now I've gone to a 15 and it feels more comfortable at 15 and 18 are my binding angles. Negative 15 in the back and positive 18 in the front is I'm happy with. Weird, right? And a wider stance, who knows? You grow and change as time goes on. But that is uh, just to wrap up my, um, the Arbor Draft 151 versus the Gilson Duel. Um, 154. I am sticking with the 154 dual right now. Uh, I'm very happy with that. We'll see how the year progresses. On my uh, my goal is to be riding more rails and boxes like the guys out at Afton Alps where I'm from, and uh, those guys are amazing. Um, somewhat intimidating to an older gentleman like myself. Don't want to go when it's really busy and get hit by someone. Um, if I go down. So that being said, um, I give props to those guys and uh, hopefully I see some of them and meet some of them and hang out with them. They seem like a cool bunch. Uh, that being said, this wraps it up for our uh, dual versus Arbor Draft video for the moment and we'll keep on updating you guys. So, all right, stay tuned for more.